it's February 19th today, and I am on my way to Arizona. Yippee! It's 11.30 at night. I pulled into the exact same um, rest area that I pulled in to last year. It's just about half an hour out of Ely or Eli, Nevada. I'm going to have a sleep now. I'm going to put the blinds up and everything and just stay in the front seat because I probably will only sleep for a few hours and then I'll keep on going. And by the way, yes, there's snow here. I should also add that it's only minus two this year. It was minus seven last year. Well, you know how it goes when you get so tired that you don't want to drive anymore. Actually, I wasn't that tired, but I was tired. And I just wanted to pull over and rest. But now I'm all tucked in here at the rest area. I don't know if you can see. I've got my big downfill cover. I have the blinds up on the front windows. But not on the back ones. And it's really warm in here. It's gonna get colder, I'm sure, but I mean, it'll cool off. I've only been here a few minutes. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd add this because I'm not tired anymore. I might have to get back on the road again. I'll give it a few more minutes and see if I fall asleep. <laughs> well, I did manage to fall asleep for a full five hours, so I was ready to take off again about 4.30 in the morning. through Vegas about an hour ago and it's uh, only 10:40 in the morning it feels like I've been up for hours which I have it just seems weird that it's only 10:30 in the morning anyways I'm on my way to Lake Havasu now and I think I'm either gonna stay there or in Fort site because depending on how long it takes me to get I need to get a phone package for down here and um, I need to just sit now that I'm down here and figure out what I'm going to do. I want to go see some friends in Yuma and surprise them because I don't, I think they might know I'm coming down but they probably don't know I'm coming to see them so oops. Anyways, kind of tired, kind of just want to bench now for a while but it's been well, it's been a very long drive. I've been driving since 7.30 yesterday morning with five hours sleep. So yeah, it's kind of time for a rest. First morning in Arizona, I made it. I'm in Quartzsite and I'm at uh, on BLM land, just hanging out here. It's the same place that I camped when I was here before, but as you'll notice, even just by only looking out this side of my van, it's a lot quieter here now that um, the RTR is over. It's kind of nice getting here now when there's not as many people here. Um, it was a long weekend when I drove down and all a lot of camp, uh, BLM land that I drove by was just jammed packed with um, campers and trailers a lot of them um, I think probably were uh, people that were just enjoying the long weekend they were ATVers and side-by-siders and whatever people that were doing that kind of recreation out in the desert anyways I just thought that I would um, start off by talking about what I'm gonna do today I was gonna go and hurry and get a cell phone package and because I just hate not being connected and I've already used 80% of my data on my roaming package on my on my everyday cell phone. So I am gonna go get internet, but I might just hang out here today for a good long while. Um, I wanna organize my van. It's a total, I don't know if you can, total disaster. All right.
so as you can see, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot that I need to do to get organized today. So I'm just going to hang out here, enjoy the sunshine, my first day in the warmth and the sunshine, and, uh, and organize my van and figure out a game plan because I plan to be away for two months. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do a little bit about what I want to, what my plans are going to be. Okay, I'm starting to get organized, but it doesn't look like it. What a mess. I thought I had cut way down on the stuff I'd brought and I thought by only having a few bins might help. These bins are great. This is my kitchen stuff, so I open it up here, but when I'm outside on that side, I put out that little table. You'll see it in a future video. You've seen it in past videos. And I can open up these boxes the exact same way on the other side. And when that table is outside, I can move my food box and my coffee and dishwashing box outside because my fridge is underneath. Come across, across my first somewhat major, mildly major problem. Sorry, the sun's in the background, isn't it? But um, my solar panel is not charging my Jackeries. I bought um, a Jackery last year and I used one um, and it wasn't enough. It's nice to be able to charge one during the day while you're using the other one. They're both 500s, Jackery 500s. <coughs> Excuse me. But my solar panel isn't working. I sent back my Jackery because I thought I was certain it was the Jackery, but it's actually the connection, the electrical connection from the solar panel because I've got full sun here from the time the sun comes up till the time the sun goes down. And I set my solar panel outside to charge my battery because I'd used my heating pad when I was sleeping um, for those five hours in minus two up in Ely, Nevada. And then I used it again last night and that almost cleaned up my battery too, which is kind of odd. Anyways, I'm having some electrical issues that I've got to deal with and I'm thinking what I'm going to have to do is um, I don't think my solar panel's on warranty. It might be, but that was last year that the problem developed. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling here, but what I'm trying to say is, is that I've come across some first, some problems <laughs> and I'm probably going to have to buy a new solar panel, which isn't terrible, I guess, because this is a hundred watt solar panel and it doesn't, it never in one day charge, it fully charges my battery. So I think what I'm going to do is see if I can find, I don't have internet right now, but see if I can find, I think Jackery has 200 watt solar panels and maybe even bigger. So I'm going to look into that, but I'm also going to look into something that I thought about in the past is I have roof racks on this van. So I wouldn't have to make modifications to the van if I actually bought some sort of permanent solar panels that I would just easily plug into my battery, like just keep switching them back and forth. So anyways, enough rambling. I'm making myself lunch. Okay, I'm gonna make my lunch. And what I'm making, because I am so unorganized that I, like I have stuff for a full on meal, but I'm gonna make one of these. Mostly I have not liked these because they all have freeze dried vegetables, which I'm not a fan of vegetables at the best of the time. Freeze dried are really bad. So I'm going to make one of these. It's beef stew. Hopefully we can't go wrong with that. By the way, don't have a heart attack. I've got everything far enough away, I hope, from my little stove here. But uh, I'm not going to burn the van down. But it requires... and three quarter cups of boiling water.
This little measuring cup actually came with my Instant Pot. It's really handy for in the van. Out what to do with anything. And we wait. <sighs> yeah, I forgot to turn the camera back on for the rest of that. I, all I did is I boiled the water, poured it in there, stirred it around, and now I'm supposed to wait five minutes, so... what it tastes like. Some of it's still dry has a good flavor. I do like it. I'm just not a fan of these. These are good for, well, what I like, not having to work too hard to have my dinner. So it's good that way, and I think I'm going to enjoy it. Back to my book while I eat. That was the best one I've ever had. It's the only one I ever finished. <laughs>